Outrage tonight following the release of a report surrounding the police shooting that resulted in the death of an eight year old girl. Much of that report is not visible to the public and that has many people asking some questions. Action News reporter Katie Catro following the story. She's live for us there and Sharon Hill with more on this report. Katie, what are you learning? Well, Gray, the borough solicitor says that they did not have to release the report at all in the first place, but they did because they wanted to share as much with the community as possible, whose tax dollars have gone into this report. All of this as a family member and community leaders say they do feel like the borough is trying to conceal something. You need to know what it is that Sharon Hill Borough Council and the police department are hiding. This evening, outrage from the Delaware County Black Caucus and others over a heavily redacted 55 page report released today by the law firm hired by Sharon Hill Borough Council on the policies and procedures surrounding the police shooting death of eight year old Fontability. Authorities say Billity was fatally shot in August of last year following a football game at Academy Park High School. Investigators say these three officers fired their weapons as the game was letting out in response to the gunfire they heard in the area. Investigators believe one of their bullets killed the young girl. They are all facing involuntary manslaughter charges. Her cousin, who did not want to show his face, told Action News he wants to see transparency from the borough. And today is just like another slap in the face to my family. Bruce Castor, the attorney representing Billity's family, called the report unacceptable, saying in part, the redacted report made public today is an insult to the memory of Fanta and completely unacceptable in any society that values the truth and the rule of law. Borough solicitor Courtney Richardson says the redactions are to protect the pursuit of justice as cases are still pending. She says the borough wants to create policies and procedures so that this never happens again and actually regain the trust of the community vis-a-vis -vis the police department, because unfortunately it really does seem that that's been lost over this terrible tragedy. Now, Richardson does go on to say that she's not sure if and when she will be able to release the unredacted version of the report to the public, but she does say that moving forward, the community will feel the difference in policing policies. Reporting live in Sharon Hill, Katie Catro, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray?